when kids eat a diet full of fruits and vegetables, they feel better, they tend to, be, to weigh what they're supposed to weigh rather than being overweight. And again, their health is, is just overall much improved by a diet that's not like the standard American diet, which is low in fruits and vegetables. A diet that's high in fruits and vegetables leads, again, to optimal fitness, optimal weight management, and the kids are not getting the big bursts of sugar that they get from processed foods, and they're not getting the huge amount of salt that they get from processed foods, and the huge amount of fat that they would get in the standard American diet. Standard American diet is best abbreviated SAD, which is SAD. It makes kids overweight and it makes them unhealthy. The recommendations of all of the authoritative bodies, the American Academy of Pediatrics, World Health Organization, and so on, is that children should be exclusively breastfed for the first six months of life, and then start organic fresh fruits and vegetables at six or seven months of age. A lot of people like to add in rice cereal or oatmeal, but for six months, kids just need breast milk. Kids do what other kids do. If they see children eating cookies, they want to eat cookies. If they see children swinging on the, the swing set across the street, they want to swing on the swing set. So when they see children eating vegetables, like on this video, they're going to want to eat vegetables. Oh, I think that children start copying other kids at six, seven, eight months of age. I mean, the, the, the babies want to eat applesauce or pureed sweet potatoes if their big brothers and big sisters do. And it really doesn't ever taper off. I mean, teenagers, subject to peer pressure, will eat McDonald's and other absolute garbage. Teenagers who are in a, a group of friends eating apples are going to eat apples. It doesn't ever stop. Parents have the biggest impact of all for a while. You can't sit on the couch eating a bag of potato chips and send your child out to play soccer uh, with an, an apple for a snack. I mean, parents have to eat fruits and vegetables if they want their kids to eat fruits and vegetables. And it's a, a, an incredible long-term investment. The eating habits that we give our kids starting at six, seven months of age and right into the, the toddler years stick with them their whole lives. Uh, overweight and obesity begin in toddlers. Uh, the great habits of eating fruits and vegetables also begins when kids are toddlers and carries over to age five, six, or 20 years of age. Some kids immediately take to pureed broccoli just as well as they took to applesauce. Other kids might need a little sweet potatoes mixed into the broccoli so that their love of sweet potatoes will influence their eating of broccoli. But we have to try. We have to keep on offering them fruits and vegetables. And as they get to be toddlers, we have to do it in, a, in as non-pushy a fashion as possible. The standard American way of getting kids to eat vegetables is to say, take two bites of this food which you really don't like and we'll reward you with some food that's going to be bad for you for the rest of your life. The kid learns that spinach must be terrible because I get cookies afterwards and cookies must be the greatest because I get it after eating those abhorrent greens. And what we should do instead is say, look, this is spinach, here's some broccoli, we're not going to put salt or butter on it, eat it or don't eat it. Um, I'll eat it, but we're not going to reward you with cookies for eating vegetables. Organic fruits and vegetables are better than conventionally grown fruits and vegetables, 
and eating some fruits and vegetables is better than eating none at all. On a, a milligram per kilogram basis, the amount of chemicals and pesticides in conventionally grown fruits and vegetables has a greater impact on kids, so do the very best you can to get them organic fruits and vegetables. But produce that's grown conventionally is still better than no produce at all. Some vegetables release their nutrients better when they're lightly steamed and kids may like them better. They might prefer a slightly softer bit of broccoli instead of some crunchy broccoli. But there's certainly nothing wrong with eating raw vegetables. And a lot of vegetables are a lot better for you when they're raw. When you start solid foods at six, seven months of age, everything is, is mush. It's all pureed. As kids get to be nine or ten months of age, it gets a little less mushy. There can be a little bit thicker consistency. You have to be careful because kids can bite off a piece of an apple or a piece of a carrot and gag or choke. You just have to be very careful. It's very individualized. Some kids are ready to, to chew on a very soft carrot at nine or ten months of age. Most are not. Some kids just like pureed foods all the way through the first year, and that's perfectly healthy. Childhood overweight and obesity is caused by an imbalance between the calories that are taken in and the calories that kids put out with exercise. In order to get 200 calories of vegetables. 200 calories of broccoli, you need a bowl of broccoli. 200 calories of cheese fits right into the palm of your hand. It's a dense piece of fat. Kids learn to love it. Parents use it as a convenience food. And we end up with a huge number of obese and overweight kids. Right now in America, it's estimated that about 20% of kids are obese. Not just overweight or fat, but obese. A medical condition, a medical disease. Another 20, 30, 40% of kids are overweight. They're slower. The reason for this is that junk food is pushed upon them. There are billions of dollars spent each year. McDonald's, Burger King, Kentucky Fried Chicken, sugary cereal makers. Soda manufacturers spend billions of dollars and they're targeting kids. And kids can't defend themselves. Adults might be able to rationalize this, to figure out that these people are lying to me. A happy meal isn't happy if it makes you fat and it gives you heart disease later in life. Kids can't figure it out, so they want to do what they see in the TV commercials. They want to do what they see their friends do if their friends have McDonald's. The way to reverse this is to set up role models Pictures, videos of kids eating broccoli and blueberries. Pictures of kids running and jumping and playing soccer. Then we're going to reverse the trend of obesity. Then we're going to stop the dramatic increase in type 2 diabetes in America. Kids' pancreases aren't working right at age 10 or 12. They're developing insulin resistance at age 10 or 12, the same way that their grandparents did at age 60 or 70 or 80. This is all due to our allowing advertising dollars to have more influence over kids than we have over them. I get challenged especially by older kids, the 9 or 10 year olds who tell me, well, you know, my friend who runs faster than I do uh, eats McDonald's, eats junk. And what I tell them is that Again, over a short time, you can eat garbage and still look and feel okay. And over a period of some years, you're going to outrun this kid. I start telling them that at three or four or five years of age. I carry it right into the, the middle school years. Yes, some athletes eat junk and they appear on television, but it's going to catch up with them. Kids love to do what they see other children doing. They also will, will mimic parents' behavior. If parents eat bad food, they're going to eat bad food. But kids watching other kids eat broccoli, eat apples, eat blueberries, are going to eat more 
fruits and vegetables. That's just the way kids are. They love to copy other kids. I love the idea of a video where kids can watch other kids eat broccoli or blueberries because they're going to do, kids love to do what they see on the screen, whether it's on a, a small screen on the phone or a big screen on television. They love to do what the other kids are doing. If it's swinging or climbing, they want to swing and climb. If it's eating vegetables, they're going to want to eat vegetables. Copy kids!